morning. Taking my doggies and myself to go grab some coffee. So Sundays are always like my pamper day slash reset day. Anthony comes for breakfast and to get rents, and then I have the day to myself. So I always like to get as much done as humanly possible on my Sundays and then plan for my week. That way I can start my weeks off right. So I did finish my 12 week sessions with the Kenzie, but once like every few weeks I just do like a touch up treatment for my legs. I have been using the Kenzie IPL hair removing device and I've talked about it a bunch because I am just obsessed with it. I've used it on my armpits, my arms, and also my legs at this point. So for those that are unfamiliar, the Kenzie is an at home hair removal device. Yes, you can remove your hair permanently in the comfort of your own home, which is just a blessing. I was always the type of person where I would shave and I would get like razor bumps all the time because I have very, very sensitive skin. The Kenzie IPL handset has different wavelengths that targets different skin conditions. It can help reduce acne. It's good for hair removal and also age spots. So you can see results in as little as two to three weeks, but your full results will be after the 12 weeks. And then if you need to do any maintenance here and there, you can do that as well, which is where I'm at for my legs at this point. Some of the bone hair areas, like my knees and my ankles, are where I have to do the maintenance touch-ups. First, you're gonna notice that your hair is gonna start growing back slower and you're gonna notice like some patches missing before you see your full results in 12 weeks. It's days like today where I would do my touch-up device where I have the day to myself to pamper myself. So you just turn the IPL device on and when you click it, it's gonna show you different levels. I do it on the highest level. Normally when I do my legs, since it takes a little bit longer, I'll just kind of like throw on a show or um, listen to like a meditation app or something like that and just kind of zone out because it does take a little bit longer considering it's a larger surface area. But I'm just gonna hold this button down here. But you just go in slow motions and you just slowly go up your leg and just moving it up about an inch each time. And if there are some areas that you find are not working as well, you can go over it two times. So it's super easy to do as you can see. And it's painless, which the first time I was using it, I was honestly super scared because I have done laser treatments on my face and those were painful. Um, but this IPL is completely painless, which is shocking because it's effective and it's painless. They do have a 12 month warranty on the device and a 90 day money back guarantee. It's something I've always wanted to do, I just never went and had it professionally done. So when I found the Kenzie product um, like two years ago, I was so excited because I love doing everything in the comfort of my own home. Like I dye my own hair, dye my own eyebrows, I tweeze my own eyebrows. I am allergic to wax, so waxing was never an option for me. I also tried epilating a few years ago and it made me break out an eczema all over my legs and my bikini area, which was so weird, so I don't know what that was about. IPL means intense pulse light and it treats a wider area faster. How it works is it converts light energy to heat to treat the specific areas. So for anyone interested in purchasing the Kenzie device, use code CB23 at checkout and I have a direct link below in the description box for anybody interested. You guys will not be disappointed. It's been one of my favorites for two years now. So I'm just gonna go finish up my touch-ups at this point and then we'll continue on with this pamper video. So once I finished, I like to apply Eucerin all over my legs. It's really moisturizing and it makes my skin feel extra soft. So again, always moisturize after you use that product. And here you can see how soft and hair free my skin is. So huge shout out to Kenzie. So I don't know about you guys, but I like really genuinely enjoy doing laundry. I don't know if that's weird, but Sunday's always my laundry day. So today I'm gonna do a few loads of laundry. So for laundry detergent, I use the seventh generation. I like the free and clear, but I also love the lavender one. They were just out of it last time. And I honestly have not used fabric softener in, I don't know, probably like a year. And I feel like my clothes have been like a little stiffer than normal. 
and I went and I got a fabric softener. They didn't have the brand that I wanted, so I got this one. It's lavender and vanilla though. Felt like fabric softener was like not a necessity, and I was like, I don't need it, I'm not using it, and I really feel like I've seen a difference, so I'm using it again. So I've mentioned this product on my story. It vacuums and mops your floor at once. Crazy, worth every penny, obsessed with it. I love to do this on Sundays just to prepare for the week. So me and my cousin ordered a little Panera for lunch. I got the You Pick 2 tomato soup and tuna fish sandwich. Not the healthiest, but I love me some Panera. Now I'm just gonna restock Renzi's diaper drawer and wipe so that way I'm good for the week. Nighttime diapers and regular diapers. laundry now it's time to put it away always feels good getting things accomplished I also like to fill my vitamins for the week because otherwise I'll forget to take them I love to go get foot rubs it's like a favorite obsession of mine so once in a while I will pamper myself with a foot rub highly recommend it I feel like it just cures all issues I'm gonna go pick up my friend Ashley she's also my neighbor and we're gonna go get foot rubs together and I'm so excited the She's literally the cutest. She was just in Paris and she got me a beautiful bracelet while she was away. Ashley, I freaking love you. You are literally the sweetest. <gasps> I love it. So beautiful. So we definitely pampered ourselves with that amazing foot massage. Once I got home, I did some more chores. I refilled my hand soap, refilled the dish soap as well as Renzi's bottle soap. Did some dishes, put some dishes away, and just again, I love to wake up Monday morning with nothing in the sink and everything all clean. Guys, look how cute this little lamp is for my candle. So you just put it on, you plug it in, and it melts the wax so you get the benefits of a candle without having to worry about any fires. <laughs> so I built this cat tree today also for them, and look how excited they are, they love it. I will link this one below. It's like a more modern looking one. All right, can we just take a minute for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? Like, I'm just, I just can't handle it. I'm such a, such a fan of this. All right, let's get in the shower. I'm gonna vlog in the shower. This is gonna be interesting, but let's try. So my favorite shampoo at the moment is the Orbe Gold Lust. I got these big bottles from my friend Lindsay who owns a salon, so she hooked me up with the discounts, but it just smells so good. Like I've literally had people stop me and I use so much conditioner because I have a lot of hair, so that's why I have to buy the big bottles. So I started using this brush a few months ago and it's really good for lymphatic drainage and also for exfoliating. So you wanna do upwards motions towards your lymph nodes and then counterclockwise circles on your chest and your stomach. For face wash, this is my favorite by SkinCeuticals. I keep one in the shower and one next to my sink because I use so much of this. And then my favorite body washes lately are the Fleur brand. I'm currently using Somebody Wood, but I also love Missing Person. It's my favorite, I just ran out of it. take my body care routine just as seriously as I take my face routine though so I do a serum then I do lotion then I use this body oil I just got this one it smells so good these sweatpants I got when I was pregnant they're like ginormous but they're like my happy sweatpants like every time I put them on I just get so excited and my last step that I like to do at least once a week so Vaseline. I literally put like 
that much on my feet. We are gonna put it all over the heel and the toes. And I sleep with like really thick socks because I have like an obsession with having very soft feet. Um, brush here. So I have to edit and do some stuff. I'm not going to bed for a bit. So I normally just let my hair air dry and like within an hour it gets like dry enough and then I'll throw it in a braid. If there were a night like that I was going right to bed, what I would do is just throw the blow dryer on for a minute just to like get it a little bit dry. I like to wash my hair at night and then sleep in a braid. Just prevents having to use like a lot of heat on it, which I think is why my hair has grown so long. So I'm gonna say good night now. I hope you guys enjoyed this super realistic pamper routine slash Sunday reset. I know you guys wanted more vlog style videos and I figured let's keep it as real as possible. Nothing too exciting today, but it's something that gets done every week. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Comment below what you guys want to see next on my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.